assalamu alaikum i am shahzad ahmed and today i am taking 8th class with bs 3rd in the course of anglo saxon to restoration period history so first of all i want to clarify one thing that in previous lectures we have discussed about the history of england but in uh, history of england we have discussed about different kings but today in this lecture we will focus on uh, the history of literature so in history of england our main focus was on kings of england and their political affair uh, with one another and in history of literature we discuss about the writers that how the writing of different writers was evolving how they contributed to the society of uh, england so our main focus would be on these things so i have made an outline for today's lecture in which uh, we will discuss about these things so first of all we will discuss about english drama before shakespeare so uh, english drama before uh, shakespeare was like from 11 to 15th century there were different kinds of drama we have mystery play we have miracle play we have morality play so these were different types of plays which were uh, performed in front of different people some were performed in church and after that they have evolved from church to town uh, halls and after that to some uh, secular part of the country so we will discuss about mystery miracle and morality play in upcoming slides and after that we will move to uh, introduction of john gover who was a contemporary of chaucer you must have heard about chaucer who is called the father of english literature and john gover was a friend of chaucer so we will discuss these things in upcoming uh, slides so first of all we will discuss about the mystery play so first of all you have to keep one thing in your mind that mystery in uh, in uh, in in nowadays we have different concept about mystery so we uh, connect mystery with something which is sacred uh, or something which is hidden so at that very point mystery had the same meaning but the truth and secret of religion at that very time the word mystery was related to the religious uh, secrecy or the mystery of religion that how different topics about the existence of god or about different uh, mm, uh, channels of uh, uh, the christ so how these things were moving so these uh, were the the mystery plays were about the religious truth and religious secret uh, sec secrets so uh, they started in 11th and 12th century and uh, after the roman conquest we have discussed about the roman conquest which happened in uh, 1066 in the at the uh, middle of in the middle of uh, 12th century and these dramas were actually started by church as i have mentioned uh, that these were religious plays so they were started by church who were controlling these drama church was uh, was controlling these drama and they were uh, making these drama they have started these drama for those people who were illiterate who did not know about uh, uh, who did not know about bible or the stories of christ or jesus so they started the church has started for them these plays in these plays they had uh, discussed about different topics which we will discuss in upcoming slides and uh, they were completely in control of church so the topic the title uh, the performance actors each and everything at that time in more in mystery plays was under the control of church so these were the stories based on bible so whenever they were presenting in front of people in front of illiterate commoners they were uh, depicting them according to the need of bible or according to uh, the bible so uh, the one thing which has changed because of these mystery plays was that at that very time latin was the language of church as we have discussed it in classes but uh, for the first time as we have mentioned that illiterate people were not uh, have no idea of latin so what was the good aspect of these plays for illiterate people that these plays were now translated to and performed in vernacular language vernacular language means local language and at that very time the local language was english so these plays were performed by different church men in vernacular languages vernacular language means in english so the focus from latin was changed to so the focus of uh, was uh, was changed from latin to uh, sorry english so after that uh, as i have mentioned that they were completely controlled by uh, church so actors were clergymen but it changed so uh, actor were clergymen it means that those people who performed in front of these illiterate commoners they all are uh, these all actors were clergy means they were part of the church and they were people of the church but with the time this thing changed and from only from uh, church people they changed to common people now uh, there were some people who were uh, who were not part of the church but still they were actors and after that uh, a change was also uh, in the performance that at first they were 
perform in churches but after some time after uh, the different mystery plays they changed from town squ- uh, from church to town square mean they were now uh, uh, these churches was now sorry these plays were now not completely under the control of church so they uh, was uh, they were evolving with the time so the main topics which were uh, presented by the church in mystery plays were creation that how we are created and how this universe is created these all things were included in the bible so they have just depicted those co- concepts from the bible and also there were concept about adam and eve means which we uh, have the concept like uh, hazrat adam and hazrat hawa and after that the concept like the murder of uh, abel which we call abil and kabil uh, who were the sons of uh, adam and uh, the one murdered the another so these was these were the main concept which was presented through these mystery plays in front of common illiterate people now just focus on one thing that this mystery play they were the first plays which are presented in front of people now with the time this play will change and we will move to shakespeare plays like the normal plays which were not under the complete uh, which were not completely under the control of church and now these things will evolve now we have first mystery plays in which complete control was with church now we will move to other place in which the complete uh, th- there will be no complete uh, connection or the complete dominancy of church over these place now for example if we uh, look at the miracle place they were a place in uh, 13th century now as we have already mentioned that mystery place were from 11 to 12th century so with the time when church did not manage to perform these plays again and again so these things were changing first of all first those actors which was performing mystery plays they all were clergymen but after that this system changed and some common people also became actors and the other thing which changed about mystery plays that first it was performed in church and after that these plays were uh, these plays were uh, performed in town hall so things were evolving things were changing with the time so miracle plays started in 13th century and uh, the main focus of miracle play was on god's will that what god uh, wants from us so they were depicting these things in uh, these miracle plays and after that implication of bible that how uh, the normal people the illiterate people the common people will uh, will seek things from bible and how they will apply these things in their life like as we have different quotation from quran e majid or from hadith and molvis azrad uh, present it in front of us to change our life according to quran or hadith so these were the same things that they were uh, performing a uh, different acts they were different they were performing different plays to change the behavior of people so after that we have life of christ these plays were about life of christ christ and now here the thing changed like we have now different uh, things which have changed which were present in uh, m- mystery plays but which have changed in morality plays like first of all the main focus of mystery plays was completely on the implication of bible but if we look at miracle plays so here they are for the first time discussing some saints saints were those people which all we have already discussed in our classes that saints were were pious people and they are pious people but after their death they became saints so we have discussed it i will switch to another topic so here for the first time this concept that each and everything should be copied from bible as we have discussed in mystery plays this was changed now their focus was not only on bible but also their focus was on lives of saints so here the thing is uh, evolving like पहले कंप्लीट फोकस जो था वो बाइबल पे था एंड अभी जो है फोकस थोड़ा सा हट के जो है वो सेंट्स पे भी आ गया मींस दोस पीपल हु आर पॉइंट्स दोस पीपल हु आर रिलीजियस बट स्टिल दे आर नॉर्मल पीपल एंड द अनदर थिंग व्हिच हैज चेंज uh in miracle plays that was funded by guilds so guild is a class guild is a class as like we have discussed about king uh, uh knights uh, serfs uh, noble so uh, as like that guilds uh, are those are the is the class uh, and in normal world we can say that they were merchants or businessmen jo ke merchants ya businessmen hum keh sakte hain so now the miracle play as in previous uh, slide we have discussed this mystery plays were completely controlled by church and now we are explaining that miracle plays were controlled or funded by guilds so now there is there are two changes first their uh, topic was changed and then they were funded by guilds actor were not from church now here there is the third dissimilarity between difference between mystery play and miracle play now this is evolving like for the first time its main purpose was Uh, bible and after that in miracle play the purpose from bible has changed to sa- saints and different people so this will evolve with the time like if we now discuss about the morality play uh, as miracle play has evolved 
to morality play. Like they were started in 14th century from the Bible to allegorical. Allegorical allegory, I have explained in front of you people uh, in class that allegory is a form of poetry or is a form of literature in which one thing is presented, but its meaning is, uh, uh, its meaning is changed from that thing. For example, if someone want to clarify the point that true, uh, truth is good, truthfulness is good. So he is depicting two different characters and through them he is explaining this concept of truth. For example, pen or register ke beech mein ek aisi conversation rakhega jis se ye lagega ke jo hai register aur pen mein ek banda jo hai wo jeet jayega jo sach bolta hoga. Abhi pen aur register jo hai wo ek do aisi cheeze hain jinka sach ke saath koi taaluk nahi hai. Lekin for the sake of delivering message, he is presenting these two different things for allegorical purposes. Or uh, now after that, morality plays were very successful. They were more successful than miracle and miracle and mystery plays because they were now secular plays. They were not completely under the control of church. Like they have explained abstract characteristics. Their their main focus was on Bible. In uh, mystery plays, their main focus was on church and their main focus was on Bible. But but here the thing has. But here the thing has changed. Now the complete focus is on abstract characters. Like they were drawn in a way, virtue, truth, charity. Ye log kya karte the? Ke ek character bana lete the jisko virtue ka naam de dete the. Sahi hai? Ek ko truth ka naam de dete the. Ek ko burai ka naam de dete the. Abhi burai aur chai ka character inhone banaya hai. Pher inme jung hoti thi. Pher achai jo hai wo end me jeet jati thi. Sirf aur sirf logo ko ye batane ke liye ki agar aap sach bologe, to aap jo ho wo jeet jaoge life me. Achha. Based for later dramas, so these were now secular dramas, these were not under the control of church. So, here the Shakespeare drama start or Marlowe drama will start. So, they have the basic background for these dramas that they have to increase secularism. Secularism means that the church and religion are in hand now. Meant for moral behavior. Their main focus was to develop a moral behavior between people who are watching these plays. Ironical criticizes criticizes church, ironically criticizes church. So here they were secular and they were changing their concept as well as they were criticizing church. I have told you that the church was doing something wrong and that's why they were doing something wrong. I have mentioned in the previous lecture about Wycliffe that they were doing something wrong and that they were doing something wrong. So in the morality plays, they started to criticize the church a little bit. Now theology was not the major subject. Now theology was not the major subject. Theology means religion. Now religion was not the major subject in place. بلکہ اس سے جو ہے وہ کمپلیٹلی ہٹ کے جو ہے ابھی کس چیز پہ فوکس تھا ایبسٹیک کریکٹر پہ فوکس تھا کریٹیسزم پہ فوکس تھا ایلیگریز پہ فوکس تھا سو آج تک جو ہے اس لیکچر کے لیے جو ہے اتنا ہی کافی ہے میں تھوڑا سا ایک بار پھر اردو میں ایکسپلین کرتا ہوں ان چیزوں کو مسٹری پلیس جو ہے بیٹا یہ ایک ایولوشن ہے صحیح ہے یہ چینجز آ رہی ہیں مسٹری پلیس کمپلیٹلی ڈومینیٹڈ بائی چرچ اس کے بعد میریکل پلیس تھوڑا سا چرچ کے انڈر تھا تھوڑا سا انہوں نے چینجز کر دی تھی جس طرح یہ تین چینجز میں نے بتائی اور اس کے بعد موریلیٹی پلیس میں ایک ڈراسٹک ایک بہت بڑا چینج آئے جس میں جو ہے کمپلیٹ چرچ نے جو کنٹرول کیا تھا مسٹری پلیس میں اس سے جو ہے وہ ہٹ کے یہ بالکل فری پوزیشن کی پویٹری ہو گئی سوری ڈراما ہو گیا سو آئی تنگ آپ کو یہاں تک سمجھائی ہوگی کوئی قویشن ہو تو کائنڈلی آپ لوگ مجھ سے پوچھ سکتے ہیں